Joining me here in the studio is Phil Andrew, who recently joined the Archdiocese of Chicago as the Director of Violence Prevention Initiatives. Phil, welcome. It's good to meet you. It's good to have you here. It's good to be here, Todd. Thanks. Listen, listen, we, we got a lot to talk about in terms of, of this position. It's a brand new position. You come with some heavy credentials. Among them are two decades of work with the FBI. You were recently a, a, an agent here in Chicago, no? That's right, back to Chicago for the last six years working with the FBI. So you know the territory, you know what we're up against, you know what the situation is here in terms of violence. Yes, well, I grew up in Chicago and- Which and, part? Uh, I grew up on the North Shore. In, oh, all right. In the uh, Sacred Heart Parish. Okay, I know that well, I know that well. What, how did your work with the FBI prepare you for this brand new position? Well, very specifically, working with victims and trying to prevent violence mm -hmm. for most of my career. Uh, for 16 of my 21 years with wow. the FBI, I managed and uh, led crisis negotiation teams, yeah. which deal really specifically with folks that are, you're meeting folks at kind of the worst moment in their life yeah. when they're, they're faced in really desperate circumstances and bringing a skill set and support wow. and, and really a, a, at the heart of it is empathy Mm -hmm. um, really understanding what's going on. And that, I think, is something that um, we could use a really healthy dose of as we face this issue in Chicago, is one is really just understanding what it's like to be the victim of violence or to deal with the traumatic effects of violence in your neighborhood, in your family, and in your life. And I think once we start listening and understanding that, our way forward is gonna be quite clear that wow. we need to do everything that we can to make sure that our children are free of gun violence. Yeah, I've worked, uh, been working with the Archdiocese for 17 years, it's, it's, it's more of a ministerial role, and that's exactly what I just heard in that. It wasn't FBI talk, that was ministry talk. Well, I think when you're dealing with people that it really does come down to relationships. Yeah. And um, part of one of the root causes of the violence, I think, that we see in our city and our culture at large is uh, a sense that we don't belong to a community. And that's this notion that violence that's happening to one of our neighbors is somehow doesn't connect yeah, with us. Yeah, it's over there. When the truth is, is that both the trauma that someone is absorbing in a, in a, a violent um, event, mm -hmm. Um, that, that emanates from that event, and it does affect us. It affects us both emotionally, it affects where we decide we're gonna go, mm -hmm. it affects the economics, yeah. and specifically the economics of our city, how much we spend on really? policing, on um, the effects of gun violence mm -hmm. from a medical standpoint, mm -hmm. and the economic effects of someone that's been victimized or traumatized by violence, their productivity, over wow. years is unbelievable in terms of its cost to our society. It's like there is almost no area of our lives that it doesn't touch, that it doesn't affect. Well, think about it in terms of the effect of fear. When you think of a violent event happening, for instance, what happened in Florida recently that the Cardinals spoken so, so uh, uh, profoundly mm -hmm. about, the, that, the fear that emanates, that of course we want to protect our children, and we start worrying about that. But we tend to make the worst decisions when we're afraid. We're it's very much a physiological mm -hmm. effect. And when I think of that and, and the, the, the incidents that I've been personally involved in as a professional and, and uh, as a survivor, I think that it's so important that we see through that fear. And I think there's a huge faith component to that, yeah. that we can rise up and be successful, and we can though there are frightening circumstances. And I think the faith aspect of it is really what drives us coming together as a community. I know that I've always been a big fan of team sports. Mm -hmm. I love, I, I think I'm more successful when I'm part of a team. And I think that's a big part of this position here is building the right team and working in coordination with others to be more effective. But it's also a great response that when we're frightened, yeah. And when we're frightened, we should come together as a community and we should talk about it and we should come up with the solutions that really make sense for us all in a community, not just a few of us. Mm -hmm. What does it say to you? Because I, I think this is important. What does it say to you that the archdiocese 
that Cardinal Supic has established a director for violence pre pre prevention initiatives. I mean, a whole office just dedicated to this. What is what does that say? Well, it, it says a couple things, and I know what it says. It's saying to our community that um, this cardinal, this this really very powerful mor moral leader, that um, that that has answered the call of the Holy Father to be the field hospital has yeah. said that this is important mm -hmm. and that we're going to do something about it. Mm -hmm. And as, as both a faith community, as both the Chicago Catholic Church, that we're going to start building the capacity. We're going to build the community that's going to provide some solutions here. And we're going to do that in coordination with our, with our civic leaders and our nice. civic institutions and with our Working other together. faith and ecumenical partners. That it's a time for us to start providing some leadership. And I think that that level of commitment, saying that this is so important as, as to both the way we practice our faith and how we demonstrate our faith through the work of social how justice. How we put that faith in action. Exactly. I think it says an, an awful lot. I know it's early um, and uh, you're, you're new, new in the position, but even for our viewers, what kinds of initiatives are possible? What kinds of initiatives would you be directing? Yes. Well, it's, it, you're right. It is early. And right now I'm listening because the truth is, is that as a, as a church, as, as the Catholic Chicago Arch mm -hmm. Archdiocese, we have been doing a lot in this yeah. space. Yeah. We have been involved in addressing the root causes of violence for many years through Catholic charities and our other partners. We're addressing things like poverty and job training and trauma counseling and Mental domestic health. abuse. Yeah. Yes, all of these things that- Are connected. That they are, they're yep. both the, um, the we're, we're helping folks that have both experienced trauma and we're helping folks try to avoid, avoid a lifestyle that might in, in, in involve violence. Mm -hmm. So we're doing a lot of great things. I think one thing is just understanding the great things that we're doing, what's working, what could we could build capacity on, yeah. what we could do better if we partner with some of our our, uh, our natural partners. Yeah. It is um, a huge um, responsibility. It's, it's a needed area, uh, uh, a needed uh, uh, position in, in this area of, of violence. Um, I'm glad you're here. I'm excited to be able to work with you in the future. We, we sit close to each other in our, in our workspaces. So welcome, welcome, good luck with it all. Thanks, Todd. It's a pleasure to I meet you. I hope we'll have a lot of more opportunities to talk about what I we're doing. I think so, I think so.